Hi guys and welcome back to Skywalker Weekly on this beautiful sunny flailing Friday and today I'm going to be talking about pregnancy outfits and pregnancy fashion because I'm halfway through the pregnancy now and I've really got kind of a big gut so I've had to really change the way that I'm dressing because I would typically you know just wear sort of you know fitted clothes and lots of belts and things but when you are pregnant you kind of don't really have a waist or your rib cage is more your waist rather than an actual waist and you've got this big whale belly in front of you so I've got some tips and tricks of how to dress during the second trimester of pregnancy. So before I start I'll just show you my gut while I'm still wearing kind of tight fitted clothing so you can see it and then I'll go into the types of clothing that I've been wearing more when I go out pregnant you know because you don't necessarily just want to be walking around like with really tight stuff over your big belly all right so I'll show you my stomach now and yeah so now that we're halfway through it is pretty big See the side view you can really see. Yeah, there it is. Very round, very hard pregnancy belly. And it's probably bigger than a normal pregnancy belly because as you guys all know, it's twins. And we find out the genders very, very soon. That's right guys, there's only four days. <laughs> Till we find out if they're boys or girls. So exciting and I'll let you all know on Instagram when we know. Okay so let's get into some of the pregnancy fashion ideas. So the first thing that I can't live without because it is cold winter at the moment. You might not think so because it's sort of sunny but it's winter and it is actually freezing. Is really long drapey cardigan things because they kind of help you know, make your side silhouette not look so bulky. So I'll show you some of my favourite ones. Of course I've got a pink one. I love like big drapey cardigans because you know if you're cold you can just be like run them up really tight and from the side view you know you're not kind of drawing too much attention to the big whale belly that you get being pregnant. Um, but I've got other colours as well. I'll show you. Got to have some basic colours. So, of course, I've got, you know, a really long black cardigan as well. And sticking with the basics theme, I've got white as well, you know. Got to have things in black and white because they kind of go with everything. And I also wear this one a lot, of course, another pink. And this one's got kind of gold study things on it. Alright, so yeah, the first thing was long cardigans and that's a bit of a no-brainer. I think that's something really nice to have in your wardrobe whether you're pregnant or not just because they're really comfortable. And another no-brainer for pregnancy is just wear baggy tops. And a lot of my tops aren't that baggy so I had to be creative and I thought, oh, what about some of my cute pyjama tops? Could I get away wearing them as, you know, tops during the day? And, yeah, I've got a couple of pyjama tops that actually look alright during the day. So I'll show you. So here's an example of just one of my loose pyjama tops that I always slept in. And now sometimes I'll actually wear this top out because it's just nice and comfy and pink. Um, I've also got a cute one that's got some kittens on it, so I'll show you that next. So here we go. How cute is it? I'll show you the close-up. Yeah, I just love that picture because it's so cute. And yeah, it's just another pyjama top that now I wear out. So I think, yeah, if you're pregnant or you're carrying a big gut, sometimes it's comfortable to wear pyjama tops as normal tops. So long as, I guess it's not really obvious that it's a pyjama top and maybe you don't sleep in it and then wear it the next day. Although I did do that a few times. 
Alright, and the next thing that is really great during pregnancy is belly bands. And these are kind of like material bands that you get um, for when your tops kind of get too short then you can just wear the belly band and it kind of like extends the top and it also sort of hugs your baby bump and makes it all feel more comfortable. So I'll show you my new belly band that only arrived last week. Exciting. So I've got a top here that's probably getting to be a bit too short with my baby bump. So what I can add is a belly band. Um... So I'll just put it on and voila, it lengthens your tops and can kind of look cute, you know, sort of like you're wearing an extra layer, it kind of keeps you warm and just makes you feel secure. Um, and this one I actually bought from, you guys know I always like looking at Etsy, um, I got it from this store called Haramaki Love. And, I don't know, here's like one of their pictures of someone wearing a couple belly bands. And they say, what is Haramaki? A Japanese inspired belly band. And they say that it warms your core, improves circulation, provides a relaxing effect, helps with digestion, protects the lower back, supports the growing pregnant belly, and great for yoga and outdoor sports. And they make a bunch of different ones, like not just for pregnancy bellies, although the one I got obviously was for pregnancy. All right, so moving on. The next style that works really nicely with pregnancy is peplum tops. You know, the ones that just kick out, like they're tight at the top and then they poof out. So I'll show you a couple of peplum tops that I've been wearing lately. And I like platform tops even when I'm not pregnant, but when you are pregnant, and especially in early pregnancy, they can look really great because they kind of just hide the bump while it's really small and it just looks like you ate too much. So I'll show you a couple platform tops now. So I've got this cute white one, and you can see it's like just nice and loose around the pregnant belly, and when you turn to the side, it kind of pops out with the belly. So that's good. And I've also got a red one, so I'll put that on now. So yeah, here's the red one, and I really like this one. It's just, you know, a cute summer top. And yeah, again, it goes well with the whole pregnancy belly thing. But what is my absolute favourite thing to wear during pregnancy? And you've probably guessed that it's dresses. So a really comfortable, nice flowy dress. I mean, there's nothing more comfy. So I'll show you three of my favourite pregnancy dresses. Hold on. So yeah, you can't really go wrong with just super loose floral dresses during pregnancy. And they're really comfy as well. So this is one of them. And yet yeah, another one. This is going to be one of my favourites because... The material is just like really like loose and stretchy and nice. Um, and another kind of dress that looks really cute when you're pregnant is just a really simple, you know, strapless dress. Um, the really stretchy material. So I'll show you one of those as well. So that's really all the types of clothes that I've been wearing while I'm pregnant. And like I said, the dresses are definitely my favourite. So that's what I would recommend the most. And also to probably pick up a belly band as well because then you can get more use out of tops that are getting too short. And just for the comfort as well. So that I think is all for this week. I am going to put up some fan art and some pictures of people's pets. But I thought I'd do that in a separate video so that, yeah, I wouldn't always be making my videos really long, adding heaps of stuff at the end of them. So just make sure that you see the second video as well. Well, it's just about lunchtime now, Cinnamon, so I think we better go eat some food. Got to feed the twins, got to feed Cinnamon. 
in the meantime I hope you guys have a great week like I said it's very soon only four days till I find out the genders of the twins and I will let you know on Instagram so stay posted it's all happening soon and I'm really excited and it's really cool that heaps of you are excited as well about the twins and you know whether they're going to be boys or girls or one of each so I hope that you're having a happy time a pink time please subscribe please like the video if you like it and please also share with friends because I'm trying to build the channel up so yeah, be good, be happy, have an awesome week and I will be seeing you guys next week and on Instagram in the meantime. Skywalker happy or sky.walker.happy because I'm always happy. And a big goodbye from me, from Cinnamon and also from Ali who is doing work at the moment.